and welcome to ESG TV. I'm your host, Laura Guerrero. ESG TV is a regular series designed to keep you up to date on our newest content, all of which can be found on our website. Well, it was another month and yet another trade show for ESG's well-traveled analysts. Our own Mark Peters was on hand once again to capture the action, as well as our analysts' impressions, this time at Oracle's Open World event in San Francisco. Here's a brief preview of Mark's video, which can be viewed in its entirety on ESG's website. So it's early fall, it's San Francisco, there's a big blue sky behind me, which can only mean one thing, it's time for Big Red, Oracle Open World. What's interesting from the Oracle perspective is ultimately they own everything. Everything down to the hardware, they own that database, they own that application middle tier, all the way up to the application. So they can take that application, talk directly to the storage, and in doing so, improving performance, improving consolidation. Interesting things to pay attention to though, is what does it do from a licensing perspective? So look at who's standing here behind me. It's uh, Cisco, KPMG, all the storage vendors. Obviously for Oracle's core business, the biggest thing was talking about 12C and in-memory database, a huge step forward. Two best friends all of a sudden, Microsoft and Oracle. What's happening there? Over the last 12 months, on average, Oracle had announced a new product every day of the working year. With such a big portfolio, it's impossible to cover everything, but what really matters at events like this is the tone. ESG's recently released content, available to subscribers, includes a research brief by John Olsick on extending enterprise security with mobile security services. As mobile computing evolves, CISOs are implementing their own mobile security solutions for malware protection and application controls. Read John's report and learn what solutions have become popular choices for meeting these requirements. And while you're at it, check out John's research brief, Security Professionals to Washington. ESG surveyed 315 security professionals working at US-based enterprise organizations to get their take on cybersecurity threats and what they feel the government should be doing to prevent them. Content available to all viewers includes a lab field audit report on Cisco's unified fabric technology. This report documents the success of several of Cisco's customers in deploying Cisco's unified fabric and fiber channel over Ethernet. ESG Lab also completed a lab validation report on Symantec's Net Backup 7.6 for VMware. This report by Vinny Chawinski and Kerry Dolan documents ESG Lab's remote testing of Symantec Net Backup 7.6. Also available is a brief by Mark Peters on Oracle ZS3 storage. Find out how the latest version of Oracle's ZFS-based storage appliance has quietly become a formidable unified and enterprise-grade storage offering. In his apparent effort to turn September into Security Month, John Olsett contributed a third report, this one a brief addressing APTs and modern malware with security intelligence. John also completed a research report on advanced malware detection and protection trends, co-authored with Jennifer Gum, and a research brief on malware and the state of enterprise security content before succumbing to a serious case of carpal tunnel syndrome. Just kidding, John. Nice work. You can find all of this content and a wealth of previously published blogs, research, and lab validations on the ESG website. If you're interested in our subscription-based content, or you have comments, feedback, or ideas for our program, just send us an email. And remember to check back for future updates at ESG TV. Until next time, I'm Laura Guerrero.